know everybody and today i'm going to tell you about bisection method how to solve a problem numerically by the help of scilab first of all see what is the meaning of bisection method if uh, f of a into f of b is less than zero then by intermediate value theorem the root will lie in open interval a b okay so if d is the accuracy small d is the accuracy and a minus b modulus that means absolute value of a minus b is greater than d that means distance between a and b the length of the interval if it is greater than d then you have to find out the midpoint of this interval because the meaning is bisection that means we have to bisect it bisect means you have to take the midpoint so here the midpoint of the open interval a b means c is equal to a plus b by 2 now C lies between A and B. So let us see the left hand uh, side interval. That means C, F of A into F of C is less than 0. Then by intermediate value theorem, the root will lie between A and C. That means the right hand side, the upper limit will be C. That means the upper limit is C means here B is equal to C. Okay. And if the right hand side interval, that means F of C into F of B is less than 0, then by intermediate value theorem, the root lies between C and B. Here the lower limit is C. That means A is equal to C. Okay. So this is the fundamental and this is the procedure. So if the root lies between A and C and the length is greater than D, then you have to meet, uh, find out the midpoint of A and C. And if it is less than D, then the process stops. Okay. So similarly, if the root lie between C and B and the length is greater than D then you have to take the midpoint of C and B and if the length is less than D then you have to stop the process okay so similarly we have to proceed okay so let us see how to solve this one by the method of Scylla see here very interesting first of all CLC CLC means to clear the console Okay, so then clear. So if you write clear, then it will clear the history. Okay, so what is our aim? Our aim is to solve a problem, and I have taken the problem cos x minus x e to the power x is equal to 0. Cos x minus x e to the power x is equal to 0 by bisection method. Okay, so we have to define the function. Okay, y is equal to f of x. And you have to write y is equal to f of x within inverted comma, then comma, then we have to explain the function. And our function is y is equal to cos x minus x e to the power x. And we have to write e to the power x as exp of x, exponent of x. Okay. Within single inverted comma, I have written. Okay. Then a is equal to zero, lower limit. Suppose the root lies between a and b. And here, by intermediate value theorem, the root lies between 0 and 1 because f of 0 into f of 1 is less than 0 so I have taken the lower limit as 0 and upper limit as 1 ok so what is a the lower limit of the interval and what is b upper limit of the interval a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 and d is the accuracy so we have to proceed oh, till the length of the interval will be less than this one 0. Point that is, I have taken 4, 0 to 1. This is the accuracy. So then, I am starting with, uh, st starting, that means I am taken i is equal to 0. From 0 I have started. That means, I will uh, increase the steps i, then i plus 1, then i plus 2. That means for first intro, first step, then second step, third step, fourth step, like this. While absolute value of a minus b is greater than 0. That means absolute value of a minus b means the length between a and b is greater than d. Then we have to take the midpoint. That is c. c is the midpoint. That is a plus b by 2. Then if f of c into f of a is greater than 0. If f of c into f of a is greater than 0. Then the root will lie in the right hand side interval. C and A is the left hand side interval and if f of C into f of A is greater than 0 then the root will lie in the other interval that means 
in between B and C. So in that case, the lower limit A is equal to C. Else, otherwise, B will be equal to C. Otherwise, the left hand side uh, interval will lie. Root will lie in the left hand side interval. In that case, B is equal to C. Okay. Then uh, we have to increase uh, I by I plus 1. That means step wise, it will increase by 1. Then we have to display. When I is equal to 0, then the value of C is this one. When I is equal to 1, C is equal to this one. I is equal to C is equal to this. And we have to write I and C within uh, square bracket. Then we have to keep it within brackets. Okay. Then end. This end is for else and this end is for while. Okay. Now display C, comma, the root of the equation cos x minus x to the power x is equal to 0 by bisection method is and this should, this should be written within single inverted comma. Then simply execute this one. We have to execute this one. Simply save and execute. Now let us see. In the console, see. So I is equal to zero, 1, C is equal to this one, I is equal to 2, C is equal to this one, I is equal to 3, C is equal to this one. And now see here, here the root of the equation by bisection method is this one, 0 0.5177530101074. Okay, so this is all about the bisection method. If there will be any doubt, then please ask me in the comment box. Thank you.